will just confirm to us that uh, Beatle is a servant. For oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Okay, wait, what? Okay, new thought. What if Shannon... So they do exist. Does that make sense? Okay, current idea is that... <laughs> Let's just go with this for now. You saved his honor. Kind of. Hello and welcome Pocket Watch here and... It's about time for another episode of Umineko, so yeah, uh, let's just go to the next episode, but before that I want to say thanks, uh, because I've read your comments and I've discussed uh, with you a bit on Discord, and I also have some new thoughts I didn't say in the previous episodes and stuff. So, first of all, yeah, I was wrong that Butler don't exist, yeah, I know, okay, he just as a way from Rock and Jima, like, I guess, like, I thought, like, when I said, like, he don't exist, I thought about he's not being on Rock and Jima, but maybe I was not clear enough. I mean, I cannot make excuses, okay? Uh, I just said he don't exist, I, I see where you are going from with, so, yeah, okay. I accept that. He, he exists, he's just not on Rock and Jima. Okay, so first things first, uh, about uh, Maria and her viewpoint on Beatrice, I think that it doesn't matter the, like, how the person looks in order for Maria to recognize this person as the Beatrice, uh, because I, I take this as the assumption from episode 4 when we have Black Witch and Evatrice, how Evatrice shows up as Kasumi, like Kasumi shows up as Evatrice for Enje, and she's like representing the blood wi Black Witch, the bad emotions. So I think like in Maria memories, uh, it's not necessarily need to be someone like dressed like Beatrice or anything. It can be just like literally anyone who just tell her, hey, I'm Beatrice and here's like your uh, candies in the cup. And she will be like, hey, it's Beatrice. So yeah, it's also possible. Also, I think I need to like reread episode 3 a bit and pay attention to Maria because we know that Maria dies differently in like uh, sometimes violently, sometimes peacefully in episodes. And I wonder like which person she sees as the Beatrice. It might be like possible that the battle in episode 3 that kills Maria is someone else, for example. It depends, like, if, if uh, Maria, if, if, like, we have Maria viewpoint, then we cannot take for, for granted who she sees as the Beatrice, I think. And also, one other thing that I thought about, and this is actually about episode 1, because I ignored this fact for a long time, and I never paid attention to this, really. But we had analytics of everything on the characters for now, uh, so far, like eyes, uh, hair, clothes chest, legs, and now it's time for feet analytics, I guess. So, in the first episode, we have the information in the boiler room that Natsuki said that uh, Kinzo had like six uh, toes and this is hereditary. And we know no other siblings have this. And also she said, maybe not she, but this is like uh, narrative uh, on the on the thing, uh, that uh, sometimes like babies, uh, while they're still babies, I will probably like put this on the screen actually, the, 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 this thing that I, I found, okay. So basically babies can like uh, have these like removed uh, also without their knowledge and stuff. And we basically know that none of the siblings have this, but since this is hereditary, then we don't know if maybe Kuvadorian Beatrice or current Beatrice has this. So, who knows? Maybe it will be like revealed, maybe not. Uh, this is just like, you know, episode one thing that never appeared later and I never thought about this. And I was just like, kind of, hey, there was something about like, you know, toes and like we know no one have this and now we have Leon and I was like maybe we don't know so yeah this is just like another thing that I thought about so yeah I think we can just like go to the episode with this it's been too wow wow wow, wow. that was like long intro anyway let's just go to the episode that was long intro that was way too long intro I'm sorry, I sometimes like speak too much.
But I think like since like uh, most of you are not on Discord actually, then I thought like I would share with you my thought process that's like happening on Discord as well. Because I'm not like making, uh, you know, theory videos about like everything. I sometimes just theory craft on like Discord or something. So yeah. でしょうね。現実さんはその世界の私がおじい様の血を引くと知っていて特別な配慮をして六軒島に呼び寄せたのでしょう。しかし、世界が違えば、使用に、いや、魔女だったかもしれない。Hilish is... oh wow. We'll just confirm to us that uh, Beato is a servant. This is literally confirmation. I mean, this is his theory, but it still counts as confirmation, I think. In terms of, like, storytelling, right? You gotta be in the servant or maybe witch. Like, like I said, like, witch is the servant, like, come on. I said witch is a servant since, like, we got the first letters because no one called Kings of Summer and then we have, like, other things later in the episodes. <laughs> but in this shard, at least, you are happy successor, so... Big lad. Also, yeah, I don't think I thought about I yeah, I was like thinking about what I forgot to talk about. Uh, about Leon. And how it got me confused uh, that like Leon and Shalom being in the same place and got me like confused and didn't make like any freaking sense because of my theories and uh, I think I like, can like you know I'll also say that because this is like box in the box we have the layer of the original game and the layer that Bern Castle put uh, put on the game board that's why we have Leon here and not in the memories and stuff and this is complicated. And that can like also say, uh, shows us why we have Sean and Leon in the same place. Uh, because basically Leon is addition, uh, additional pawn that's on the game board uh, that is original. You know what I mean? It's not like this is like original fragment that Leon is from. It's just he's just like put on the game board of Beato basically. Like inside the box, like box in the box, right? So we have elements of, of both worlds. So we have Shannon from the original world and Leon from this world. In the in the same game board. You know what I mean? I'm going to say that's why it's like possible for both of them to be at the same time in one place. Otherwise it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Yeah, and Bern as well, like I'm confirming that. Your servant in Mission Child of the Head. Romantic. Kasan no So, ne. Natsuhi ni totte, kono sekai no Leon wa, sodatero to oshitskerareta, kini iranai akanbo ni suginai. So, shite. それを拒絶した世界でもある。夏日にとっては自分の腹を痛めたジェシカの方が何百倍も可愛いわ。自分の血の入らぬ赤ん坊なんて毛柄欲しくて生温かい女。Yeah. <笑> wow. I want to see that
私は母さんに一層感謝しなくてはならないこの年になるまでこんなにも公平に育ててくれたことを奇跡的な確率でだけれどね動物というのはね自分の血が入らない子供にはいつも残酷なのよライオンとかもそうでしょ<笑>はあ源氏はおそらくこう考えたこの世界のリオンは正しい血統を持つ後ろ宮家の人間だなんとか六軒島で生活させてやりたかったオッケーしかしいきなり連れてきてこの子がそうですというわけにはいかなかったわけだ Makes sense because like that would make the uproar and like shame to Ushiromiya's right. The show, eh? Shima de say cuts as it in Najimase. Kiyomi to Uchiaki is more that no de shoka. Probably after you became the head, so no one can move you from the position. Shkashi Konosekai no Rion took bits as Kayoke de Itawake de Wanaina. Yeni. 銀の指輪は存在しないおじい様のお耳には入れなかったということでしょうか Yeah, that's what I was thinking about as well Like, is it possible that they actually hide the whole thing from Kinzo? 源氏にとっての打ち明けるべきタイミングがとうとう訪れなかったということかもしれねえ Or maybe he never wanted Okay, we're back to the... しかしそれを伝えるのは容易なことではなかった。どうして容易じゃないんだろうバカね夏日が知ったら大変よいや、だってやばいああ、そうかリオンが突然現れたらジェシカが次期当主じゃなくなっちゃう Strictly speaking, Jessica wasn't the successor to the headship but since she's been able to select the successor it all came to the same thing それは知れば知るほどに容易ならざる物語我の生まれを祝福する者もいれば祝福する者もいる Right, I was... I, okay, I, I understand now Oh my god, okay, I was dumb, fuck Oh wait! Oh! 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 I, oh, I, oh, I forgot about this Oh, okay, I, I didn't read that. Okay, we need to see this. Uh, but first, I wanted to look at this tree. I forgot. I mean, I was like, I guess, kind of confused a bit because of this, like, uh, tree of the family. But yeah, these are all cousins, right? And take, and like, these are the oldest, right? Like, Kraus is supposed to be the next head, but he's not. And actually, Jessica will be like next head, right? Or her like uh, husband. So, if like Kinzo had a child with Beatrice, right? Which is like Leon. Then that would make the, his like another branch of the family, basically. That, like, this would be like Kinzo plus uh, mother, let's say. Because like they have like an unidentified mother. Uh, and here we have like Beatrice plus Kinzo. And there we have Leon. So this is like the main branch of the family basically. Leon is like main branch directly uh, uh, below the Kinzo. So Leon is direct descendant of, of Kinzo. That's why going to be the head and this is like the most important. And the other cousins cannot even compare because they're like descendants of the Kinzo or their kids basically. That makes sense. And let's go with this because I actually forgot to check her like profile. I was like wondering who the hell it is and I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, so Claire Vaux Bernardus. Okay. I like the boots. 
created by Berncastel to be a reader. Okay. Or else a substitute actor. Technically she's a vessel used to personify Beato and her game. Okay, so I was tr right, kind of. Therefore she has no personality of her own. In that sense, perhaps one could say that uh, she's not a person but a tool. Her name signifies her position as the final guide in Beato's game. Okay. Like the design. I like the boots. Again. Okay, let's go. Mm. それは現時の胸だけに秘められたものがたりピオンも金蔵もナツキもクラウスも女子かも誰もみんな知らない物語過去してこの奇妙な物語は1976年より約 People only found the young servant strange for the first month. Natsuki and Kraus' protests came to naught. After all, there was no harm in it. So why not indulge Kinza's whim? Eventually everyone grew accustomed and began to accept this slightly abnormal everyday life. <laughs>同じ待遇である God damn it, steaks! Sawachi. Who's Sawachi? Tadachi.。The gospel house treats all the children under its care as family. Because of this, the original names are not spoken there. And everyone uses their new blast names instead. Maybe because the in on non ne characters is in the gospel world. Uh, is in the gospel Fukuin. That characters character is always combined with at least one character from the child's original name to make the new name. Shannon Sayo. Makes sense. Canon. Canon Yoshia. Canon and Yoshia doesn't make sense in this case. Canon? Canon Yoshia. Yoshia don't have any name that is like together with Canon. Did Canon lie to us? Is Canon true name is not Yoshia? Because by this characteristic it doesn't make sense for Canon. Because he should have like one character from original name. Canon yo. And I'm not speaking about O, of course, because you should say yo shi ya canon. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. There's no character like that in Japan. Like, name, basically. Still, just giving a person a new name doesn't mean they will accept it so easily. The boys and the girls of the gospel house, living without relatives due to all kinds of circumstances, often feel as though their real first and last name are bonds that uh, Worf holds onto. So many of the gospel children held their own names and call each other by nicknames based on the original names. Of course, this is only privately. 
When the presence of the house director or other important people, only the blessed names are used. On the job, the blessed names are used. And off the job, the informal nicknames are used. Everyone is very used to living with two names like this, and they're all naturals at switching between the two. Bayasu, they probably mean me. Okay, so this is not perspective of Shannon. What the fuck? So this is someone else? Okay, wait, what? I never heard about anyone called Yasu. Is this perspective of canon? Is Yoshia actually fake? Yasu, canon. It doesn't make sense as well. Canon and Yasu don't have any character that is together. Okay, it also doesn't make sense. So this is not Shannon nor Canon. What? Who is that then? And this... Okay, I was sure this is Shannon because... Like, this person is in, with single, in single room with our roommates. And Shannon appeared and said that I am here. So I thought like... Shannon and Beat... Wait, what if... Okay, new thoughts. What if Shannon... And... What if Shannon is actually... Another personality? What the fuck? Wait, because that would make sense... Oh my god, I'm, I'm going back to the... Room scene when... We saw this character speaking with Shannon, saying that I'm staying with you in this room or something like that, right? I thought like it's Shannon speak, uh, being like Beato and talking to Shannon like to herself. But what if this person is like ya named Yasu and creates Shannon? And then Shannon creates Beato later on? What? Okay, let, let's just read. I, I I need to see who the hell Yasu is. Because I'm going like into like oblivion of like things. I can't remember my parents at all, but I was given my family name Yasu Yasuda. Yasu, Yasuda, okay. And apparently my nickname comes from that. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, special treatment. Of course, on days when I'm given work, I return to the mansion right after school and work alongside all the others. I help out uh, with caring for the garden and cleaning up the mansion. I can't do any jobs on my own, so I'm always just helping out. Maybe because I'm young, the adult servants are always kind to me. It seems my fellow gospel house servants are annoyed by this. Yeah, probably because they know... Yasu. Like, I swear... I swear this is Beato. Kenji and Kumasawa are soft. Special treatment. So... Okay, current idea is that... Okay, I don't know. Like, Yasu is basically Beato that, cu that is current Beato. So, child of 
Kuba Durian Beato and Kinzo is Yasu. And then Yasu got based on this uh, scene in the room, imaginary friend or personality, uh, maybe imaginary friend. Actually, probably personality because we see Shannon later. In sh in terms of Shannon, like when Shannon is Shannon. And when Yasu is Yasu, like in which circumstances? And then later we have Shannon to made Beato to Maria? Okay, this is, oh my god, what the fuck? Okay. Ah, I need to reread stuff. I don't know. I'm confused. It's complicated. I mean, it, it works as chain reaction, right? Kind of. Because we never... If you think about this, we never actually got to hear the actual name. No one named child of... Kinzo and Kuadorian Beatrice. No one ever named this child. Everyone know this as kid from 19 years ago. We assume by theory it's Shannon. So we assumed this kid name was Shannon. Or Sayo. Because true name was Sayo apparently. But now we have Yasu. So we have... Yasu, Yasuta, Yoshia, Sayo, Shannon, Kanon. What the fuck is this? Who is this? It can't be. It must be someone else. It must be a new character. Is it Leon? What? It's like she's mistaken as her own grandchild. これで同じ給料もらってるとかマジありえないわ。意味わかんない。あんたにバッグあるのは分かってるけど、いつまでもお手伝い感覚じゃなくて、早く一人前になって私たちと同じ仕事しなさいよね。私たちいつまでもあん
interact with others. It all goes to this, I think. Unless... Unless steak don't exist. No, wait, but she's like... Not he or he. Yasu. Yasu helps steaks with things in mansion and Natsuki and others are like... Uh, interacting with steaks, so they exist. Because multiple people interact with them. So they do exist. But I didn't so shallow interact with anyone yet, I think. This is so messed up. What? She really is incredible. I really want to be uh, uh, like Shannon as soon as I can. She never talks behind people's back, and no one talks behind her back. She's kind and she gets along with everyone. I want to be like her. And she's always kindly watching my, over my efforts to become like her. Hmm. Why did I end up here? Again, this is supposed to be single room and Shannon is here. Like I said, this thing doesn't make sense unless she's like imaginary thing. Otherwise, it makes zero sense. Shannon must be imagination in this situation. Okay, my theory... Okay, so... Because we see Shannon in current in uh, 96, right? So... My new idea, why we have Shannon as imaginary friend here and why we see and interact with Shannon as Shannon in current timeline. Because right now Yasu is like not good at doing stuff, like only helping, going to school and stuff, right? And Shannon is basically perfected version of Yasu. So when Yasu learned to be the proper servant, Yasu basically became what he or she, Yasu, wanted to be, aka Shannon. So that's why in current version, everyone interacts with Shannon and Yasu calls itself Shannon. Because feels like Shannon. Does that make sense? But why call yourself Sayo? As true name then. And why making canon? What? I'm going to lose my mind with Umineko. I'm losing my mind. Okay, I'm fine. Though I've just been uh, muttering to the ceiling. Sean gave me an honest answer. And this, uh... Is this another test from God? Also... The Shannon we know is not the perfect Shannon that we see here. At least Shannon is in eyes of Yasu perfect. But Shannon in our timeline is clumsy and stuff, right? And Yasu is not good at like doing servant stuff. So it's basically his perfect imagination of Shannon. Or her. Basically Yasu. Okay, I will call he. Why fucking not? Uh... Shannon is perfect imagination of his uh, imagination combined with his own clumsiness and that created our current Shannon. <laughs> Let's just go with this for now. Mm -hmm. 
Am I special? Okay, I must say it, okay, I must say it. Everyone else is big, but you are special to be chosen young. Uh, I guess you mean age, but why you say big and not old or older then? Because if you say it like that, I would say... That... Oh, we don't have it. But big. In the chest area. And you are the only one who is not big. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I just had to say that. Because this sentence is weird. Why am I the only one who's little? You will grow. I can do my any jobs by myself. Everyone complains that I'm just here to play with Milady. And yet, Madame made it clear I'm not to think of Milady as a friend and speak to her in a casual manner. <laughs> Isn't Canon the only one who speaks to as to Jessica's Milady? I'm pretty sure it is. Let me in, let me know in the comments, okay? Because I don't remember now. Did Shannon call Jessica Milady? Or it's only Canon who called her Milady? Did Genji call her Milady? Did any of the servants call Jessica Milady? Can you remind this to me? I think it was only Canon who did that. I might be wrong, I, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe yeah, I I cannot like remember every single freaking conversation with Jessica and speaks about Jessica from every single servant. That's like it's like not possible. Uh, ten years younger. みんなと同じ年になるまでここで頑張ったならあ。新しく来る人たちよりずっと仕事のできる人になっているということ。いや。現地様にも認められてあなたは新しく福井の家から来る人たちに仕事を教えてあげるリーダーの役になるの。そして
who play with me. I wasn't allowed to play with another friends and spent all my time by myself in my isolated room. Maybe it's because I'm frail and always half asleep that it has been lonely. Oh, okay, that woke me up. Hi, Genji! あなたは何を そのような判断は私にはできかねましたセンセイ。ならアクシーゲティカンセルス。ホリーシット。お願いします。わかりました。オッケー。どうしてクリニック。すぐに現地さんから連絡が入り。秘密裏に診察するように文言をされました。オッケー。秘密裏に? どうして? Yeah, they try to, so they really try to hide this from Kinzo. The question is, why? Is it because they knew what he did to Beato, like Kvadorian Beato, that he's crazy? Or, like, why? Or because uh, of, like, I don't know, they cared about Natsuhi? Aha. Kuadorian no Beatrice Sammo, so she's no Kodomo de Aru, a cambo mo. Kosek no nai. Yeah? Yeah, but you also didn't set to Kinzo, so. Oyaki ni nareba, Iroto, Mazuko to Maru de Shaw. Aha. A cambo ni Kosekio atairu jimbi was sumit ori mustama. Oh. So baby got registered? I wonder if the baby got registered eventually. Probably not. Right? They hide the fact that this person is alive. Yeah, but it's like... なつきは木して語らない。簡単な工作さ。でもその赤ん坊は生きてたのね。さようです。無論大怪我でしたと。いや。あれだけの怪我をして生きながらいたのは奇跡でした。もう少し何かの角度が違えば、あるいはもう少
Yep. So this is confirmation. So Kizo don't know that Kuvadori and uh, Beatrice's child and he's actually survived. So he's not aware of this. So basically he's not aware that in his mansion one of the servants he is his own kid. And this kid don't know it as well. Because there's a rumor, they just said it. There's a rumor that you might be the child of like Ushirmiya or something. So they didn't believe that as well. So none of them knew that they're like parent and child. Okay. Now the new question is. How much current Beatrice know? I said previously that like in one of one of the like previous episodes, I don't know how long ago that was. But it's possible that current Beato I mean actually if you see how Beato speaks about Kuvadorian and the backstory, she obviously knows about Kuvadorian Beato being her mother. So she knows at least about Kuvadori and Beato. So based on that, I would assume that she knows that that current Beato, current Beato knows that Kinzo is her father. Would that change anything? It might also. I don't know if this changes anything, but it might be one of the elements why Leon uh, fragment is different. Because Leon fragment don't have Beato. In Leon fragment, Leon is not abandoned. And also what's different, now we know this, is that Leon don't know about his past. Or her past, his past. Leon don't know about past because he like got acknowledged. I mean, he got nude. From the backstories, he just got from Will. Uh, he got to know that Kinzo is his father, right? And Kuvadori and Beatrice is uh, his mother. And in our fragment. We have no Leon, but we have Beato who knows about Kuvadorian. So basically, it's possible that the knowledge about Kuvadorian Beato and Kinzo is one of the elements that created Beatrice. It's not just throwing away. It might be also the knowledge about uh, Beato and Kinzo. I don't know how and why that would change stuff. But it's cool somehow. Yeah. Yeah, he went crazy, we know that. As I said before. Yeah. I would never make the same mistake again. Ha! Huh. Did he realize what at that time what he did to Kuvador and Beatrice? I mean he had the child with his own child. Genji Okay. Genjiは、クワドリアンのベアトリーチェにもずっと仕えていた。その胸中についても詳しかった。彼女が金蔵の長愛を一心に受け、父として敬愛していたことも。いや。しかし、それは金蔵のそれとは異なった。there's no way we are going to talk about this. Is this really going to happen? We are not going into specifics, right? 
金蔵は彼女をベアトリーチェの生まれ変わりと思い亡きベアトリーチェへの万感の思いを慰み者にしようとした OK kind of round about but we are kind of talking about it specifically try to use her to satisfy the feelings yeah その思いをクアドリアンのベアトリーチェが受け入れたわけもない彼女は父と思い尊敬してきた金蔵自らに純血を奪われることになるのであるいやストールアウェイオッケーソーウいや、これは言葉で。キーズは本当にレイプとクワドリアンベアト。やっと、ポイントやっと。グー自分は父と思ってたのに、向こうは妻と思ってた。グーああそれは両立できぬ禁じられた恋金蔵様のお気持ちも。わからぬわけではありません。Yeah, Genji, I'm with you. I kind of understand this to some degree as well. I don't know how deeply he loves Beato, like the first Beatrice, and how she died. We have no idea how she died. I mean, she died during the birth, right? I mean, this is contradictory. Like, we have like two different、uh, sayings. I forgot what that was, but there w a s like two people who said different things about Beato death, I think. No, wait. Uh. No, 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 no. There, there was no contradiction. Yeah, yeah. That's what he just said. That she died somewhere around 52, and Nanjo said that she died during birth or something. Okay. Kinzo Sama Tote. Kanoji wa umareta toki kara. Naki Beatrice Sama no omokage o utsuste. 思っていたわけではありません。私もお酒を飲みながら聞かされたことはあります。To make her his plaything. Wow, this is getting worse and worse. <laughs> 私は笑い話と思って聞いておりました。Yeah, it turns out no, he was not joking. 育つほどに母に生き写しになる驚きを。年を重ねるごとに抑えられぬ禁じられた感情を悲劇が繰り返されるのではないか私はそう思いますあはあ、that's why、yeah, that, so, so I was kind of correct, right? like, they were afraid that he would do the same thing to his other child as he did to the previous child because He's like so fixated on, on Beatrice in general that he would see the, Beat the third Beatrice as like another incarnation and he would be like, oh, Beatrice, let's have another kid. <laughs> oh my god, this is so. Oh. I don't know where to put Kinzo on tier list now. I think he will have his own tier list when we will do tier list for episode 7. I don't know how I will name this tier yet, but I think he will be the only one there. Beatrice Sama was crushing the world. But I think he will be the only one there. Yeah. He was just a kid, like, how, how old was she? Like, by estimate, she was like 15 or 16 in times of her death. So, she basically gave、uh, birth before that. So, she was like. If she was like 15, 16 when she died, then. Let's say. 14 or 13. Wow, this, this sounds worse and worse with every new piece of information. What is your Beatrice Samayori Nando? Munenocho Uchiakere, Sodan Wu Kemasta. Shikashi Watashiwa, Moshiagera de Masendista. Sorewa Tashkani, and I ne. 
父と敬愛する人があなたを死んだ母の代用品にしようと思ってるなんて一応金蔵さんの名誉のために申し上げる OK try to save his honor 金蔵さんも苦しんでおられた生き写しになる娘が娘と思えなくなると苦しんでおられた That's actually I can see and I can understand Yes, okay, Nanjo, you saved his honor, kind of Also, we know from Kinzo, current Kinzo After he lost Beatrice that he really regrets stuff And he always calls Beatrice because he wants forgiveness from her uh, And he means like Kubadorian Beatrice actually At least from what I think because he don't know about the third batteries, right? Um, so yeah, he clearly have regrets and he came to realization like what he did and he wants forgiveness, but he's unable to get this forgiveness anymore. Actually, no, he's not because he's dead in the 96. So third batteries cannot forgive him basically as well. Yeah. Now I think about this, the knowledge about Kinzo and like both of parents of Beatrice. If Third Beatrice knows about Kinzo and Kubadoria Beatrice, then this might be actually very important to who Beatrice became later on. She might be not be able to forgive uh, Kinzo what he did to her mother. It might be that as well. So she wants like revenge on not only Natsuki but also on now dead Kinzo. Hmm.私は父として愛しなさいと助言した。金蔵さんも理性と良心に従い。あら。金蔵は愛した。なきベアトリーチェの忘れがたみである娘に愛情父として注いだしかしならばなぜに娘に母と同じ名を与えたのかいやあ金蔵の罪は彼女が生を受けた時より始まっている金蔵さん彼女を出産しその引き換えのように死
残念なことに。いや、こいつはそういう悪魔だ。マジに。失礼ね。Yeah, I'm not a metal demon, I'm a witch. Genjima, so you say you're not a good one. You're a good one. So, you're a good one. 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 Genji は講師をしっかりと使い分けられる男よ。金蔵に忠誠を尽くす一方で、娘に対して犯した過ちは、容易に許されるべきではないと思っていたのかもな。源氏は、リオンの存在が容易に知れることがないよう、三つも年齢を詐称させてる。I w So s I was freaking right. So the notes from episode either five or four. I don't know if the episode four actually. I made Kuvadorian theory and family tree and estimates of ages in episode four. Oh, wait, but about. Fuku in house and Shannon, I fought in the episode 5. So actually, it's episode 5. So this is about episode 5. Like, Shannon age basically is faked because she's like from Fuku in house, and the age can be easily faked by that because this is the orphanage, they can do whatever they want really with the papers, right? So, Shannon is 19 years old, and baby from 19 years old is Shannon. This is basically the theory. But we know this theory for a while now, right? This is just like another like, piece being confirmed. It must be true. In this world, I was born in 1976 when I was born in the middle of the year. In that time, 自分はもう4年生になってるはずです。Yeah. 病弱だったことが理由にならないなら、源氏はおそらく入念に、生まれ年もごまかそうとしたんだろう。19年前の赤ん坊のことを。金蔵だけでなく、夏日だって簡単に忘れないはず。Yeah. そこに、その年に生まれた不審な幼い使用人が入ってきたら、夏日の女の顔が。Makes sense. I will be sus. Had the child been too sick to go to school for three years, or had the age been faked so that Natsuki wouldn't figure everything out? いずれにせよ、この世界のお前は、年を見。Yeah, if you think about this, the only person who could figure out Beatrice、uh, would be Natsuki because Kinzo had no idea about baby from 19 years ago on that this survived. Actually, wait, Natsuki didn't know as well, so Kinzo could figure this out as well. So, yeah, both of them were a threat. <laughs> ごまかす虚弱でごめんな発育不良だったしね案外ごまかせたみたいだわゲンジは見届けねばと思った金蔵が果たしてベアトリーチェの子を今年で受け入れられるや否や Okay, but how he should wait and see if he don't tell Genji? What the fuck? You didn't say talk to Kinzo, you never said to Kinzo that his child is alive. How, how would you like want to see if he would accept batteries as like what? How does that make any sense? 
if if he don't know then how you can expect him to like accept i guess maybe okay i guess like yeah like accepting what he did like he's now and he's like oh bad reason like you are really my daughter not the reincarnation like that kind of acceptance like after death acceptance and then uh, genji will be hey kinzo you know what i have a surprise for you look this is your long lost daughter happy now できれになるまでお福音の家で過ごさせ。幼き使用人として呼び寄せる。うーん。父も子も互いに互いを知らない。いや。現地は思った。もしも真に親子の愛情があるならば、金蔵はこの子に亡き母と娘のおもかげを見
it depends on YouTube and how ZTS and I will react on music and stuff. But I want to read more of Umineko and I want to upload more episodes. Because this is getting like more and more interesting. And we got more and more like confirmation of st on stuff. Like the a like free age gap that I uh, suggested back in the episode 5. It actually got confirmed. So I wonder like... Oh my god, I want to know a lot. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you like the episode. So, if you do, hit that like button. And, yeah. I will just see you in the next one. I spoke too much during the episode. I know I covered a little of the story. I should cover more, but it, I was just too excited that I just, just had to give you my, my thoughts. Uh, about what's happening right now. Also, yeah, about the acts that we have right now in the theater. I think this is all going to be. This are like these are like chapters about Yasu. I think like this whole thing is going to be about Yasu developing into the servant that Yasu is in '96, which by the theory I created today is like perfected version of himself which is shannon of 60 of 96 right okay so who's going to be the first friend of yasu i don't know i can't think of anyone we don't know characters from the 10 years ago is it going to be... It cannot be Maria as well. This is also something that you mentioned like in the comments or on Discord. I'm not sure where actually. I forgot about this. I forgot to talk about this in the beginning. But yeah, it happened 10 years ago. So they cannot meet with Maria. Because Maria is 9 years old in the 96. So the first friend is definitely not Maria. It's someone else. So far, we see only stakes. So, one of the stakes? Some new character? Who's going to be? We'll see in the next episode. So, thanks. Once again, I will see you in the next one. Thank you for listening to me, and I will see you in the next one. So, thanks once for now. Ah! Okay, for now, Pocket Watch is going now. <laughs> see ya.